right, y'all, we are back at you with an exciting harvest today, right? Yes. One that's uh, probably almost three years in the making. Yes. And it is our, yes. it's our pineapples right here. Gotta have a lot of patience. Yeah. Pineapples. We actually have several pineapples ready to harvest. This one has the best top. Yeah, it does have a beautiful top. Yeah, it's huge. So these pineapples, all of them, you guys can see, we have a whole bunch of them planted in this bed here. And then we got a whole bunch of them planted back here in this bed down here. You can see down here. We planted all of these three years ago. Yeah. And we, we actually got a pineapple off one of them uh, within a year. And the rest of them have just just been growing, I guess. Uh -huh. and, and we just ate one of them. We did just eat one. Yeah, we just harvested. Oh, right. So we've, we only, so we've only gotten two pineapples from this property in the four uh -huh. years we've lived here. Uh, we had pineapples growing in our other property. Here yeah, I think in Florida. We left like seven or eight of them. Yeah. And um, they were all doing great, but plant. we left them. Yeah. Um, but. You guys can see we pop them in everywhere. We kind of started, uh, probably have another one over here. Yep, here's one right here. We started with these beds right here and then just started popping them in all over the landscape. Um, and it, like I said, these are all grocery store pineapple tops. And all we did was this basically. We just stuck them. You clean off the, the fruit when you're done and peel off a couple of these leaves right here and then just stick it in the water and it'll it'll uh, root for you and then you can stick it in the ground. And we usually and you can even, a, go ahead. We usually put it in a mug with dark sides because it seems like that helps the, um, right. the roots. Yeah, so roots, quicker. right, roots don't look at the sunlight in nature, so yeah. they're not going to want to while you're rooting it. But you can take this one top and cut it in half or even cut it into fourths and plant all four of them and yeah. get four plants out of this one top. Yeah, we've done it and um, <clears throat> we haven't gotten pineapples off of those yet, but the plants themselves recovered from being cut in half and yeah. became full-size pineapple plants. Yeah. Um, so I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, um, so anyways, three years later, we finally have a mini harvest here. Like Annalisa just said, we got one pineapple maybe a week ago. Yeah, this is the top to um, it. Yeah, so this look is how it. nice this top is compared to the grocery store yeah. one too. So the, yeah, look so how fresh that is. For... This is the top off of the one we grew. And then this is just the top off of a Costa Rican pineapple. And I say Costa Rican pineapple because for whatever reason, all the pineapples we get at our grocery store are from Costa Rica. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure if you live in a different part of the country or a different part of the world, your pineapples might come from somewhere else, but ours apparently come from Costa Rica. So, so we're going to show you real quick before we cut. I think we have three that are ready to harvest, and we'll show you some signs of um, how you know they're ready to harvest. You know, um, these the, the, the pineapples we grow from the tops aren't going to be... The first pineapple you get is usually not going to be like a full-size Hawaiian pineapple. They're going to be a little smaller. Um, but then uh, as you start to harvest, you can see we harvested this one off this plant. And I'm just going to leave this plant here because pineapples are bromeliads. And I'll show you. I have an example here. If we just leave it, it will start to shoot off pups like this bromeliad did. You can see its pup back there. Look, there's a pup off this one. So this one back here is the one we got uh, pineapple off of last year. This one is. Yep. And I think it's this. This is the pup over here. No, I think this is the pup. Yeah, this is the pup. This is the pup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So once the plant, you know, once the, this plant shoots off a pup, we'll we'll take it out and just let the pup grow up. So, so yeah, that is the pup that shot off of this right here. So we're gonna leave this plant in the ground and get some more pups. But the pineapples that are ready to harvest, uh, we'll we'll show you guys. They're not as big as the, a grocery store pineapple. You can see this one's pretty obvious that it's ready to harvest. I mean, it's yellow. Uh -huh. So, I mean, that one's kind of just obvious. But there's some other signs. Um, we'll show you over here. Like, this one isn't quite as yellow, but you can see that it's starting to lean. Oh, and look, it's already shot off its next pup right yeah. there. I just noticed that. I didn't even notice that when we started the and video. And look, the main mother plant's starting to yellow yeah. and die off. Yeah, right. So, this is the mother plant. Doesn't look great, but look at that fresh pup right there yeah so the pups that we get off of these we do have some experience from our last property in florida will give us pineapples way quicker and bigger way quicker and bigger than the ones we got from planting pineapple tops so um yeah we had to wait a while but now we have some pineapples established and we're hoping to start 
you know, getting some every year. So well, why not? You pet, you know, just buy one every time you go to the grocery store, and you're not just getting fruit, but yep. you're getting a plant too. You know, every time she gets us a pineapple, we put the top in the ground. Yep. I mean, we have them everywhere. We're just in our front garden here, but we have them like all over our property. So I mean, why not? Um, you know, they're easy. I mean, they take forever, so you might as yeah, well get them going. They do. Um, I mean, honestly, that's my. And, for and, gardening in general, I will say if where if someone asks us where do you start, where do I start with gardening, I would just say put something in the ground yeah. because it all takes time. You know, you might not want to start with a big massive fruit tree because you might regret where you put it in the ground. But you know, a banana plant, something like that. If you want to start gardening, just plant something because yeah. it's gonna take some time. And so I mean, who cares if it doesn't do well? Just yeah. try something else. I mean, I had like I tried doing like uh, vines up teepees. Yeah. like for what two or three months yeah. and like that didn't go that yeah it's a lot of out. experimental so you just rip yeah. it out and put something else in and also like uh, my hang up was always like oh well where are we gonna put the fruit trees because fruit trees are like your biggest like commitment mm -hmm. you know um, yeah, I we would... have all these plants around it well I mean just move them or whatever yeah, if, the tree if, gets if you're unsure about gardening I wouldn't start with a fruit tree or something that's going to be a forever plant yeah. I would start with something like a banana or something little like a or pineapple flowers or... so here's the third pineapple that we're going to harvest and you guys can see this one's just basically falling over it's obviously ready to to, to pick so let's yeah. go ahead and cut all three of them all right I'm going to start with this one yeah. and like I said we will just leave all these plants in the ground until we get new pups off of them. It's the smallest one, I think. Yeah. We might have been able to leave this one a little bit longer, but I mean, it was basically falling over, so. That one right there has a beautiful top on it that you're cutting right there. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow. All right. And then let's go get that last one. Man, look at the top on that one, guys. Holy cow. And this one we'll probably want to eat like tonight yeah, with dinner. I mean, it's basically right. And it's kind of another thing too, like this one already smells like a pineapple. And uh -huh. if you leave them on there too long, the critters are gonna get to them. I mean, especially when they're this ripe, uh -huh. you've got to bring them inside. Yeah, you, a raccoon will just come by and yeah. smell them and yeah. pop it off. Do. All right, so I'm yeah. stoked. We got treat for a raccoon. We got three pineapples. Yeah, and look at the top on that yeah, one. Yeah, I know. We should turn that one into six. Yeah, we should. I mean, because look how big around it is at yeah. the bottom too. That's, yeah, it's a health. I mean, look how healthy this plant is. It's already shot off its pup. We've actually had luck now that we're here talking about pineapples. Yeah. We've had a lot of luck with companion planting pineapples and bananas. Um, and I think my theory is, is that the bananas have very kind of um, soft tubular roots. And I think the pineapples can tap into them for nutrients. So obviously the pineapples might be draining a little bit of the nutrients from the bananas, but we heavily feed and water our bananas, really just water our bananas. Yeah. So I don't think- We could feed our bananas <clears throat> more, but I mean, honestly, I think if I we, mean, I think with the way we water them is fine. We don't we, really fertilize any of the bananas and we have plenty of, you know, we seem to get plenty of bananas, so. We definitely don't get like the big giant bunches like some people do, but uh, I, I think it's because we're still working on our soil too. Yeah. The soil wasn't great. We've been mulching it for a couple years now, but it's still not great. You can see it's kind of like sugar sand, but all right. So I am stoked. This this mother plant will probably come out soon because it already has a pup, but the other ones we'll just leave until they get pups. And we'll just cross our fingers that some of these start to shoot off prime. They, these other plants might not start to flower until this next spring. Seems like that's when we get the flowers from our pineapples. But look at that, guys. All right. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed our pineapple harvest here today. If, if anybody out there has any questions or comments about growing pineapples in Florida, just post down below. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.